Okay, I'm not really even in the shot because my face is so long. Alright, I've still got my minutes all the way. There you go, we're good? Finally, my head's in the shot. So, uh, today, I'm making more bread. It's been a while since I made them, but well, not a while because we've been releasing videos. It's just, I didn't have more videos to release because I didn't make anything else with the, on the camera. So, you know, anyway, I got Waffle Maker. Uh, that's what I'm being distracted for right now. Hold up one second. Here it sizzle. The grill function on it. Why does this thing keep growing? <laughs> I was led to it. Got a, got an egg in there. Got a griddle function on my waffle maker. Anyway, so today I was gonna make. Wait for it. Bread. I'm gonna try to make bread again. The first time I tried to make bread, but it did not turn out so well. Actually, no. Actually, no. Think about it. I made bread multiple times before. It turned out fine. It was just butt burger buns. I cannot make burger buns for the life of me. But today I'm not making that. I'm making hoagie buns instead. So right now, I use the recipe off uh, the internet. I still forget to give Angie these recipe websites to put on the, the description because she wants to write all that mess. I hate writing. Uh, I'll give her this one. But this one is homemade um, uh, homemade hoagie rolls from... What's, what's her name? From Stay at Home Chef. Uh, yeah. Stay at Home Chef. That's the website. Just type in stayathomechef.com you find it. Anyway, so this recipe calls for multiple... For most normal things, one cup of warm milk. I just let the milk sit out because I'm, I'm not putting it... I'm not trying to heat that mess up. Uh, one tablespoon dry yeast. Okay. Two tablespoons sugar. One tablespoon salt. Three tablespoons softened butter. One large egg and three cups of flour. I might need four too. So for right now, actually, I gotta separate this yeast now because I didn't want to do this in the first place. But now I gotta do it because who? Only one, one tablespoon. I don't have a yeast jar, a jar of yeast. I just, you know, use yeast. I think it's still sizzling over there. Anyway, do I even have it washed? Oh yeah, I do have it washed. It's too over here. Now I gotta try to scoop out just a tablespoon of yeast. Oh great. So to add all these, so, so one thing I gotta say, I'm sick and tired of all these recipes using stand mixers. I don't have the room for that. <laughs> I have an air fryer, I have a waffle maker, I have toaster, I have a coffee maker, I have a rice cooker, I have a blender. Two of those are with sitting into a cabinet and stuff, and one sit on the darn stove right now because I'm using one well, that will be on the cabinet. He'll be in the cabinet, so yeah, I'm just going to do hand. It's going to be a lot more extra work, but who cares? Because I'm sick and tired of these room having people having room in their houses, in their kitchens. Not like I have a whole bunch of stuff. I probably, just, if I probably just arrange things, probably have more room. Probably it. Anyway, so I got my three things of flour in here. Three cups of flour. I'm just gonna add one tablespoon of yeast to the flour. Oh, wait, you can't even see it. I'm gonna point at it for no reason. I have to do this again. There you go. All right, a cup of flour, uh, thing of flour. I got a thing of milk on the side. You can't see it. I'm not gonna lift it up because it's gonna spill over. I got one egg. Got some softened butter. Also got some sugar in the background. I'm gonna need two uh, teaspoons. I'm gonna need like what, two tablespoons? Yeah, I'm gonna need two tablespoons of that. All right. So first things first, you're gonna put a whole tablespoon of dry yeast in here. So I'm just gonna pour this out. So this is a this thing right here is a two tablespoon thing of yeast. And I don't think they need that. I don't wanna add too much yeast to it. Wait a second. Wait a dang minute. Thing's empty now. Okay, no, I'll just pour the whole thing in there. Action Dry says it has two tablespoons in it, but I gotta stay lying, cause uh, this this is one tablespoon of yeast. What the heck? What is Active Dry Yeast, not Instant Dry Yeast? Oh well, who cares? All right, I guess they've been lying on the packaging for these. They keep saying that it is two tablespoons. 
It's not. That was legit one whole tablespoon. Not even spill over. I've been lied to multiple times. And now we're gonna need two tablespoons of sugar. So get your favorite sugar that you need. Uh, also, let's put yeast in the sugar. No, I didn't. There's no yeast in here. Yeah, there's no yeast in here. Okay, you two tablespoons of sugar. Just put it in there. It's so, it's so simple and easy. I don't know people. People who don't know how to cook are usually not taught, and all you gotta do is just trial and error. Every day you're gonna mess up, you're gonna mess up, that's how cooking works. So, you know, don't be afraid to mess up. It can make you upset. Like, I know it makes me upset. I get really upset when I mess up bread. Alright, just some random humming in the background from my waffle maker. I'm gonna go unplug it. So, this, this is being annoying right now. That thing's really dope. <laughs> I like it. We got it for basically for free because Auntie's job. It's her one year anniversary being on a job and they gave her a gift thing. So, you know. Alright. So now we're going to add the egg and the butter. And the milk. So we're going to add the milk. This mix this all up. I think I was supposed to add the yeast to the milk. No, it just says to combine them all, so I'm just gonna go by where it goes. If I messed up, they just should have ordered better. Because I do not care. Butter, softened. I feel like it better melted. I feel like it needs to be softened because of stand mixture recipe. I don't have that. Check your stand mixing privileges. I'm having things to mix this with. I'm so stupid. I can't have to get off camera just to grab something to mix something with. I can't remember to keep something on hand. Ooh. There we go. Oh, I also need salt. I just pour a little bit of this in here. That's from one teaspoon of salt. So, you know. Oh, well. Also, that butter's always salted, so it's probably going to be salty now. And the egg. So you need milk, egg, a teaspoon of salt, or a tablespoon, one or two. Forgot. Let me check. <laughs> a teaspoon of salt, three tablespoons of butter, softened, and a large egg, and some flour, and milk, and yeast. You always need yeast to make bread. No, not always. You just need ones to make. Bread that has yeast in it. Just press that down and mix it up. Be easier with the stand mixer, but I don't have a stand mixer, so you know. I think I said that earlier, but also it's not that bad. You act like it's the worst thing in the world. It's not. It's actually very easy. Also helps me out with my arm strength. Just gonna make sure that butter gets crushed up and spread it evenly. Probably should have mixed the bread, the butter and milk together first, and they added. But sometimes you can't do that with certain recipes, because you know you might mess up the dough. Because there's dough forming, it's gotta make sure this butter gets spread out in the dough. Probably should use this one. I don't know why you first spot stuff first. I do this each time I'm on camera, for the worst tool, first. Also, at this time you should have your um, ding ding. Have a side bowl that's greased. A uh, damp towel. So you're gonna need those. Yeah, it's gonna cut the silence. So anyway. While well, I'm doing this, because it's going to take a second, I'm just going to want to talk about something funny I saw about food things. Not funny, it's kind of weird. So, some people, some people have been having issues with eggs from Whole Foods. 
Cause you know, Whole Foods is an organic market. So if you already know where this is going. People are finding baby chicks in their eggs. Someone's not, someone's not taking track of their eggs. Someone's not filtering them out. They got fertilized eggs in your whole, in your fresh eggs from Whole Foods. It's been, you can just look it up, it's been happening to certain people. But I think it's horrible, not, it's not even Whole Foods, it's like this, whole, like organic markets in general. People have been getting eggs with babies in, which is wagging me. Yeah, that's that's horrifying, honestly, for real, for real. No! Alright, I'm back. Forgot to turn off the AC and it was making a lot of, a lot of noises. Because I'm not spending time doing this mess. Because I was actually supposed to do this to us earlier, but the oven kept messing up with one of the burners. And they had to come in, so I didn't want to do it, but they didn't come in until 4. So, you know. Oh well. So anyway, there's the those those coming together already, pretty fast. Just gotta make sure this powder is evenly distributed, and then I've got to put it into the metal bowl. I'm just gonna let it sit out. You don't need to actually put in like a warm section. Let's, let's put a damp towel over it and let it sit in the bowl for I think like hours or so. I'm not sure. Let me check. I just gotta check. Also, you always start smelling this mess. Yep. You're gonna put in a lightly grease bowl and let it sit for an hour. Ah, no! Egg yolk came out the darn old handle. <sighs> uh, gross. Ew. Ew. Disgusting. Disgusting. Oh, wash that off with bleach later. <laughs> anyway, no. it's gonna get messy. You're gonna get egg on your hand. I still don't like it though, because I wash my hands afterwards. There's a lot of powdery bits in here. You know what? Let me switch the spatula too so I can get the dough inside, uh, the dry parts inside the wet parts so I can actually get it evenly distributed. Because you don't want a semi dry, semi wet dough. You just want your dough to be dough. You don't want it to be powdery unless it's some type of powdery dough that I don't know of. Probably some cultural bread. I don't know of or something. I'm probably gonna skip past this. <sighs> Cause I got nothing else to say. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Also, some of y'all need to stop clicking on the internet. Some of y'all just be putting war crimes on that. And I know when I'm messing up, but I would never put a whole thing of raw meat in a tortilla thing. In a, a pan full of tortillas, tortillas and a um, what else they put? They put like beans and the velveeta cheese block. They even melt it. They just put a whole block in. They didn't cook the meat. They just put raw beef right there. Cause everyone's so creative. Oof, jeez. Hi, I'm gonna fast here. Hi, the bread's done. <laughs> Highest recommend. I recommend keeping a ding ding uh, if you're doing it without a mixer. There's a need, a kneading mode. You keep, keep a phone on you. Do it for, like, make put your table in front of like a laptop, a TV, something. Have something playing because you're gonna be. It's not gonna be that long. I'll just listen to like Trash Taste podcast. Those anime boys. Shout out to those guys. I love them so much. Uh, keep me entertained forever. The dress stage, well, I guess. Anyway, uh, you know, just get your own. Just keep something to, to listen to because you're going to be bored for a little bit. 
All right, now get your bowl, like a metal or glass, and just lightly spray it. Like that, you know. Just lightly spray it, get that oil up in there. And just put your dough in there. Like so. And now I need to get my wet towel. Where I put the towel that I had there? I'm pretty sure it's a wet towel. Or just a towel in general. But I want to wet it so it don't stick to the dryness. Alright, so it's in the mixing bowl. I got my towel all wet here. And just cover that. Fold it on you so it don't fall in on top of it. There you go. And then like so and just let it sit for a whole hour. Yeah, see you then. Alright, here we are about uh, I don't know, maybe three hours later, two hours later, because I was trying to cook dinner, and also I had put a wet towel, do not put a wet towel on top of it because it makes the bowl cold. Just put it, put some plastic wrap over it, and put it in the oven, the, the heat up the oven for like one second until it actually gets warm, and then turn it off, and then just put it in there for an hour, and raise it up. Just make sure it's in a warm spot. Well, now it's like this. Whew. And now I gotta roll it out. Rectangle and help me. It's gonna be Anzi. You're gonna see your hands in a second. Come on, Anzi. Come show your hands. Oh, look at it. Why is it upside down? It just does that when it flips the screen. It's not really upside down. It does it all the time. Yeah. My hands. You can just pull them both. Oh, they're wet now. Oh, oh, anyway. <laughs> well, now it's just gonna wash my hands. Also, I was supposed to add an extra thing of flour to this thing, but I forgot to do that, but I'm just going to do it now. Let's put some flour on it. Just make sure. This is... Okay, yep. You don't really need to do that. Honestly, I just forgot to put extra flour in there. Just put like one-fourth cup of flour. I don't need to do that. Just need to keep make sure this thing... Because this thing's actually very firm and very, like, dry already. It's not really that moist. So, you don't need to worry about your hands that much. You don't really know about flour. I need flour just all right, so let me see. I gotta wash my phone after this mess. Face ID. There you go. All right. So what we're doing is we're gonna basically, so we don't have we don't have a roller. We're gonna press out this dough into a rectangle, one fourth inch thick. I don't know how much that is. I have no idea. We're just gonna flatten this baby right here. So you wanna help it? Got flour in your hands. You don't need much because it's not. Like really moist, like you know, the other stuff is. There you go. Just rub it around. Just press it down. You rectangle it. <laughs> Bootleg here because we don't have a boiling pin. Still haven't got one. I want my French one. French one. Yeah, French. What is that? That's mean? the one. That's the one that's not rotating. It's a non-rotating uh, rolling pin. Oh. All right, now it says press it down. Yep, that's good. Let's press it down. Because we're supposed to cut this off and then let it rise. You should be careful. Let's, let's press it down. Now, let me get the pizza cutter. Uh, hopefully that's good enough, because I don't know. Because they're asking for measurements that I cannot measure. I don't have a ruler. I'm going to take measure, but I'm not putting that thing next to it, because that thing has chipping paint. So. <laughs> Alright. All right, so cut into four strips about six inches wide on each. What? What does that mean? What, what does roll stir up? Roll stir up. Stri oh, roll strip up. Like, how are you rolling it? Sideways or long ways? I have no idea. See, this is what I have. This is the problem I have with these people who make these recipes. So it wants me to cut it, does it want to come in lengthwise? Like hot dog wise? You don't need to, wait, you made a heart in my, <laughs> you made a heart in my, look at this mess. So you made a heart in my ding dang hoey roll. 
bread dough. <laughs> um, to four strips, about six inches each. Get the heart out of here. All right, so I'm just gonna. You know what? I'm gonna do that, boss. I'm gonna like to. I'm gonna shorten it. I'm gonna like do them half because I don't want this. I need more than that because I want to make extra bread stuff. You know. True. So I'm just gonna. All right, here we go. Hopefully you don't mess this up. There you go. Dang it. <laughs> what? Alright, messed it up. I don't know what's asking me to do, man. This mess makes no sense. Anyway, that's not how the recipe goes. If you know what it means, you can follow the recipe from here. You don't need me, honestly. I'm just gonna cut these in half. Alright, and now we can set these on a pan and let them rise. Oh wait, roll up. Oh, we're supposed to roll them up. The heck they mean? How? What <laughs> length? What? I guess since they're hoagies, they're gonna be like subs, so I guess we're doing it this way? I guess so. Alright, so I guess you just take one and roll up. Oh my goodness. Wait, hold up. Continue rolling gently until ends and seams are pinched together, so we're rolling it this way? Um, I don't know. Let's go roll like this and well, that's way too small. How is it too small? I don't know. Hopefully just gently roll it. Don't press too much on it. Just gently roll it because you're kind of rolling it out. Now you kind of have to kind of fold it out. What? I don't know what they're asking me to do. I'm just going to try to make it like a hoagie roll. Hoagie bun. So actually, yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of like, yeah, sub shape. Like, yeah, that way. This makes sure it doesn't stretch out. These blog posts. So oh. they do suck. They just expect you to know what they mean in no video either. They don't show you any video. They're just like, hey, hey, you, yeah, you, you person with food, make food. What do you mean I need more instruction? What do you mean you need more instruction? You don't know what that means? You're an idiot. So stupid. So stupid. I don't know what they they're want from me. <laughs> what do you want? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, to, so, okay. So seams and ends are pinching together. So we don't. We want the seams together. We want a seam and stuff. And we want it to. I guess like this. I guess like this. I don't know. At this point, we're just spitballing. I don't know what they want. They want. They want turds. <laughs> All right. I, I gotta grease up the sheet. You just keep doing that. <laughs> and let them sit there for like. Oh. <laughs> You gotta wait. This takes some. So it's hot. Now I don't know. Now I know I don't make bread. It's so stupid. Bread sucks. Make bread does. Why we should make lumpia. Lumpia? Yes. I don't even know where to start with that mess. You're not a real cook. I do. I look like I know. I don't even know what 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 ethnicity is that food anyway. Um, Filipino. I don't know. I don't know how to make that. I don't know. I don't know even. I don't know what Filipino food Filipino food is, bro. Then look it up on the blog post. Okay, I'll watch, uh, <laughs> I had to make sure it's the whitest woman ever too. Why? Just like, <laughs> have, probably has no Filipino friends or hasn't even seen a Filipino person ever. That's that's how you get good. <laughs> this is so stupid. That's how you get, that's how you get some good loopia right there. Mm -hmm. Just make sure they don't even know an ethnic person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is so dumb. When you go into a Mexican food place, if they have a actual Hispanic people there, the wrong one. You gotta go to, you gotta go to <laughs> Chipotle. You gotta go to Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> so, surprisingly, Chipotle actually was made by someone who was of Hispanic descent. <gasps> uh, Can't believe it. But they went to culinary school mm. in America. Mm. Very American. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you eat loud as heck. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> so weird. <laughs> Uh, if it grows like this, it just grows like this. I'm just trying to gently roll it so it's like... She said roll it. Now it doesn't make any sense because I'm rolling it and it's not sticking together. Yeah, they're not sticking. These are... They probably won't stick when they bake. I'm just trying to pat these down. There you go. Just making a seam for them to... Yeah. There you go. And hopefully they just grow weird. They both arise. Heck was that? I don't know. Is your game open? No. Bro, what was that? You have no idea. Oh my goodness, it's the Wraith from Dead by Daylight. No. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Oh, that was me. I hit the bowl. That is not what it was. That sounds just like it, though. I thought I heard a phone. I heard a ding. Oh. I just heard a ding. That's all I heard. Hmm. I don't know if this is what they want, but it's what they get. And if it messes up, oh well, it still looks like it's edible bread. I'm gonna put this down a little bit more because this thing's kinda. This could be crazy bread. It looks like crazy bread. This should be crazy sandwich bread. <gasps> it does kinda look crazy bread. Well, crazy bread is just donut bread, so. But bread. Donut. Oh, no, pretzel bread. It's pretzel bread. So this is just, it's just bread. The pretzel loaves is bread, same as donut bread, same as most breads, honestly. A lot of bread is the same when you think about it. Guess so. It's a mess. I really enjoy doing this uh, with Angie. Uh, you know. Oh, also, we're engaged now. Let's see this. No. Ooh. I can't believe this. Marriage jump scare. <laughs> <laughs> this is so stupid. It is dumb. How you like? I'm doing your technique because this is actually makes this is actually pretty smart. Because huh. they do not tell us how to do this, so if it comes out messed up, don't blame me. Okay, you just yeah. watch me do it. So this actually this photo is just me trying out recipes on blog. Obviously, that should be a new series. This is me trying out recipes on blog post You try Sorry, it, sorry. So you don't have to. Exactly, and I probably messed up, so you don't have to. Is there nothing to do? Okay, now we just put this bread onto. Our baking sheet. I don't know how much we could put on here because it's supposed to rise. Um, how much? Yeah. Right, let me put this down. Oh, right here, lady. Okay, camera. We're doing this at like 8 o'clock at night now because, like, this thing took forever. Also, we're waiting on maintenance today to get something for, do something to our oven. And they didn't come to 4, so. Shut up. <laughs> My phone keeps going off. Oh, maybe we got enough room. I could pop in bottles. No, you're gonna get a copyright. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> they don't, they even do, I know they used to do that, but do they even do that anymore? Like I don't know, but I wouldn't even doubt it. I remember I think I remember back in like early YouTube. People, you get actually would get copyright for singing a song good enough. That's YouTube. Or was that like a lie that YouTube used to say? I'm pretty sure that was true. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> and now I'm gonna let these sit for here for 30 minutes. We'll be back in 30 minutes. Why? It has to rise. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it already rose. It did. And it has to rise again. This makes no sense. It's stupid. Bread is dumb. It makes no sense. Don't make bread. Don't make bread. Just buy it from the store. <laughs> it came about to die now, too, because it's been so long. <laughs> and you just got in the shower because things take too long. Here we go. You put your oven on 375 and bake for 12 to 15 minutes. We'll be back when that's done. Now that you have your oven set to 375, I said earlier, I had to pause the camera because it's dying. Get your egg wash, which is egg and water or egg and milk. It depends on who on who you ask and what you do. But I'm using egg and water for this one. And just take a little bit, like right here, just take a little bit of it and just brush it onto the bread. Just brush it up and down. Probably just like post what I'm gonna do and make with this on my uh, TikTok. What do we have? I make let's make some sandwich. Well, of course we make some sandwich stuff. It's a sandwich bread. But I might make this make some sandwich the breads rolls uh, sandwich sandwich foods. I can't speak today. Jeez Louise. To each other, but it doesn't really matter as long as they expand. We can deal with the rest later on. I 
Hey, Kanai, what does egg boss do? I have no idea. Don't ask me. I just, I, it makes it browner. It's all enough. I think that's all it does. I'm not sure. People act like you need to go to a cooking school to learn how to cook. You really don't. But it is best taking cooking class. This is the same, you know, the basics. It's really uh, good. Oh, and let's put this in the oven. Come on, come with me. I uh, don't mind our dirty stove. I cooked food up here earlier and I spilled rice everywhere, but you know, take the headset off. Spilled everywhere. Oh, it's the thing on my face at all? No, it's not. Jeez. I spilled it everywhere, but you know, who cares? Who cares? Anyway, it's gonna put it in the oven. Set at 375 and for 12 minutes. Ooh, that's hot. I gotta put this down. <laughs> I don't have to put it down. Right. Don't mind my dirty stuff because I was cooking stuff. And now I would. Well, see, this is why the recipes need to start staying, be more specific. Maybe this one on the end of here can hold something, but a lot of these bread rolls, a lot of these things can't hold anything. They're not big enough. Uh, yeah, so I guess they wanted us to fold the bread instead. But it didn't tell us that. They said roll it. So we rolled. Uh, that's it. See you later. Bye. I'm mad.